Hey folks, welcome back to another Battling Brushes. If you're just tuning in, Rob and I are currently going through Guild Ball from Steamforged Games. And uh, we're actually doing a couple of themed teams for the person who won this auction on the Jack Vazel Memorial Fund auction last November on BoardGameGeek.com. So I am painting a Denver Broncos themed Butcher's Guild team, and Rob is painting a Pittsburgh Steelers themed uh, Fisherman's Guild team. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get down to the table. And so now as we're getting back into our guild ball teams, uh, brisket here, I have went ahead and taken uh, just the base um, colors that uh, comprise. I've, I've decided with all of the models to go with blue leggings and some type of orange top uh, to give it that Denver Broncos look that uh, our our client, so to speak, is, is wanting to have. And then, of course, any aprons uh, will be uh, orange as well, just to give that offsetter. Now, with this one, just like the other one, there's going to be a lot of browns, a lot of leather browns, oak browns uh, from uh, Army Painter. Uh, these guys right here, we're going to use that a lot because there's a lot of knives, there's belts, there's uh, these boots down here at the bottom. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. What I am going to do though, and this is kind of a uh, an experiment, so to speak. We're going to use some corn red um, to provide the base coat for her hair. And then I think we're going to try to do a uh, dry brush of lava orange over that just to kind of bring over uh, that red look that Brisket has um, in her hair. As you can see there, uh, she's definitely got a, a head full of red hair. So uh, we'll we'll see how that works out and probably have to make some adjustments along the way But let's go ahead and get to it. And so now first things first. We're going to go ahead and take some uh, oak brown and uh, Use that to do her uh, All of you know the staff here uh, the the hilt of the staff at least and 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 the um, handles of all of these knives and instruments she has hanging from her belt so uh, we're going to do that one first using oak brown from Army Painter. And now we're going to take some lead belcher and uh, do the blades uh, all over. You know, the blade that's on the staff here and then her blades that are hanging from the belt down there. So uh, let's go ahead and do that as well. And this is really just a base coat of a deep, uh, a deep metallic silver-ish color. We're gonna come back and hit it with some uh, Rune Fang Steel probably to brighten it up a little bit. But we just want to make sure that that metallic look definitely is there. And we want definition. And, um, you know, depth. So we want to have more than one kind of color on there as well. Next, we're going to hit the you know the little the leather strap that's going around her waist and her boots uh, and some of the straps that are on the uh, shaft of the staff there. Uh, we're going to hit that with some uh, leather brown. It's a different color brown. It's a lighter brown, so it should stand out and give a little bit more uh, depth to the to the miniature as well. And if it doesn't cover exactly the way you want it to the first time around, that's okay. Just uh, continue on with it and put a second coat on it later on after that first coat dries and you'll see that it covers a lot better that second time around.
And so we've pretty much got brisket here done. We're now going to uh, basically just shade uh, the rest of the model. Um, we did a little bit of white here uh, on her hair braids to bring out that white that is in the Broncos color uh, uniform a little bit. Um, but uh, now we're going to uh, use some Reichland Flesh Shade, first of all, for all of the skin tones that are on her. And then uh, we're also going to use a strong tone on everything else, basically, just to blend all of those colors together, pretty much, and uh, provide that finishing touch and a little bit more detail as well. Now, upon further thought, I'm going to go ahead and use soft tone instead of the uh, strong tone because I don't want it to dinge up too much. I just wanted to use um, the idea there is to, to uh, get a little bit of wear and tear on the clothing and the boots and that type of thing and, and, and the staff. So that's what we're going to do now. And so we are pretty much done with brisket here. Um, the hair turned out pretty well, I think. Uh, gave it that reddish auburn look that uh, I was wanting to give it. The uh, shading kind of all pulled everything together. And uh, I think she's ready to hit the table except for the base, but uh, we'll get to that later on. All right, let's go see what Rob's doing. Hey, Sam, hope everything's going great for you. Well. I've been having some problems with my camera. So I was able to get the info on one guy and not the other guy. But don't worry, we've got more guys to paint next week. I'm going to get the guy and repaint it and reshoot it. But uh, I got the brute done. It was really, really hard with the Pittsburgh Steeler colors and trying to come up with a, a theme. But I think I did all right. So why don't we go down to the table and take a look? All right, as you can see right here, I'm taking a look at the guy and I put some gold in some areas just to try to get some idea. And I have a Morphang Brown for the boots. And I started putting a little on the rope there just to try to get an idea of what I want to do with this guy. Because, you know, you go by the actual um, book, it, you know, it's completely different of, of what you want to do. So I'm trying to figure out how I can get a good balance and have this thing not look so amateurly painted, which it's going to do anyways. So the first thing I decided to do is get some Kesla flesh, and let's get the flesh on them and see what we can do from there. See, when you when, when you have to be creative like this, this is where you kind of run into a situation where is as you go, try to take care of the things that you know that you, you can do. Like you know this guy's flesh, so let's get the flesh on there. And sometimes it starts to come to you and it starts to come together. Um, I don't know if any of you ever had painter's block. Um, some of you that are out there that are beginners probably never even picked up a brush so you wouldn't know what it is. But it's kind of like writer's block or anything else. You just run into a point where you don't know what to do. So what I always like to do is kind of just get get things started. So we got the flesh on there and we're going to take a Garthor brown and we're going to touch up some some of the um, some of the uh, rope work and we're going to use also a Morphang brown to just go over the, those brown ropes and make sure that we got everything in the belts and everything like that. He has some straps so we use the Gortho uh, brown to really kind of accentuate the the straps. So right now I'm really kind of struggling here just to let you know and, and, and try to figure it out. So I decided to take this col color here which is Avonland Sunset and as you can see I started putting in some of the areas because it kind of has that that gold that is the Pittsburgh Steelers. So I kind of started applying it in different areas and see what was going to work. Not only did I have a real gold on it on, on his shoulder pads, but I decided to take this, it, it's kind of a yellowish gold to try to 
recreate some of those steeler colors as much as it sickens me to do so. Then I took some lead belcher and just, you know, the hooks, some, some of the areas in there as I'm pointing to right there. And we're just trying to make this all work together. And then I took a nice light gray and went over the netting. So now all of a sudden it's starting to come together. And I also dry brushed a little on the black so it wouldn't stand over. And that's an administration gray as you can see. And that really kind of worked really, really well. So we got it right where we are. We glued them onto the base and I kind of think, okay, now we can add a, a really nice wash. So we're gonna take a Reichland Flesh Shade. And what we do here is we're just gonna try to get some um, uh, uh, some of his um, uh, uh, musculature we're going to try to bring that out so we're going to try to bring out some of his facial features and stuff like that and really kind of highlight that and kind of bring it out we're going to go over the gold with that as well because that's really going to help and, and, and get into the recesses and give some shade and some angles to that and you can see that you know, for something that we didn't really have an idea what we wanted to do, it kind of started to come together and wasn't too bad. So I, w I was okay with it. I was kind of happy with it. Um, it's right where it is, where it should be. I may do some more touch-ups. As you can see, we got the good uh, definition there. So let's get out of here. Well, there you have it. There's only one thing to do right now, and that's for one of my closest friends to take us on out of here. Sam, get us out. So that's that for this week's episode of Battling Brushes. Rob is doing a tremendous job working with black and getting it to uh, show the details that are there is is kind of a difficult thing because black is usually just, at least for me, it's just a primer color that gets covered but when you're using black as a main color, it's really difficult. So as, as great as his models are starting to look, that is a tremendous job because black is a really difficult color to work with on the top layer to show all of those different de uh, details and everything like that. So we hope you enjoyed this. We hope you learned something. That's the whole point of battling brushes is to teach uh, beginners uh, how, to, how to get into this hobby or to uh, show people that aren't really into it yet, it's not really that difficult. You just have to take your time. There's some tricks that you can use that make it a little bit easier. So uh, that's the whole point of battling brushes. We hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you next week as we continue Guild Ball from Steamforge Games. See you on the flip side, folks. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.